Um, another question is, why is our asphalt paint $190 a pail for a regular dry? It's a great, great question. Right now with paint shortages everywhere, we're not able to actually deal with manufacturers that are actually manufacturing the paint. We've had to go out and source paint to be able to supply to our customers from all over, meaning that we're having to buy from retailers in order to sell it. And of course, we do our best to help, but straight up, our margins are very slim. We don't work on very large margins, but we do our best to be able to supply people who are in need. So small retailers, we are picking up paint. We're able to actually consolidate that. That's shipping into another location. That consolidation takes and costs money and time. And then we have to go ahead and ship that back out. There's shipping involved with that as well. By the way, that paint price does include shipping as well, and shipping paint is not inexpensive at all. It's very costly. An example would be a container to ship uh, across the Atlantic used to cost us about six grand. Well, as of last week, it's $32,000 to ship a container. So to give you an idea, the trickle effect is taking place right now. Inflation's happening everywhere. You're gonna see it more and more so. If I were you, I would strongly recommend investing into things right now at the lower prices before you see that trickle effect take place and start increasing prices even more because it will happen as you roll into the, uh, into the spring.